Hello there, and welcome to the latest edition of Don't Take This as Gospel. We are going through Dennis Prager's commentary on the Torah called Exodus, God, Slavery, and Freedom. And uh, my last Don't Take This as Gospel video was with regard, it was an intro to the Ten Commandments. And in that intro, I said that there was a word in the Second Commandment that I was going to change for the sake of it being the more common reading. And the word that, in, in, uh, that was translated in this particular uh, volume was impassioned. For I, the Lord your God, am an impassioned God. Whereas in most translations, and I went and I looked, did a search on uh, blueletterbible.org, which is a very good resource for doing uh, any kind of Bible study, because you can actually go to blueletterbible.org and look up a particular Hebrew or Greek word and see where that word was used all the way throughout the Old or the New Testament. So it's a very good resource. I, I, I highly recommend it if, uh, if you ever get a chance to uh, go online and you want to do some uh, online Bible research. But uh, I went back and I looked at the word to see how it had been translated in various translations, and nine times out of ten, uh, the word is translated as jealous. So, you know, you could say I'm justified in, in, in having changed it from the translation that Dennis Prager was using. And even Dennis Prager in his commentary does say that uh, the word is literally translated jealous. But I did notice that when uh, I was looking through all the different places in the Old Testament where it was, uh, where that particular word was used, it was always used in this exact same sense, that God is a jealous God when it comes to uh, people worshiping other gods than him. But I do want to say that in, oh, oh, by the way, there was one translation in which uh, it was translated as zealous rather than jealous, and I don't think that was a, a you know, a typo. I think that was a, a purposeful thing, as I'm, as I'm about to explain, uh, but that was Young's literal translation. So that word was translated zealous in, in one particular case. But this is the only other case that I've seen it translated as anything other than jealous. And the word, uh, I don't need to tell you the Hebrew word, but the word is used in such a way that I really do think jealous may be the wrong word. Although, it may be the wrong word for this particular verse. Because in this particular verse, the, the author or the, the translator uh, translated it as impassioned. And impassioned to me seems to be a much better word in this particular case. Because what it says is, you shall have no other gods before me. You shall not make for yourself a sculptured image or any likeness of what is in the heavens above or on the earth below or in the waters under the earth. You shall not bow down to them or serve them. For I, the Lord your God, am an impassioned God, visiting the guilt of the parents upon the children, upon the third and upon the fourth generations of those who reject me, but showing kindness to the thousandth generation of those who love me and keep my commandments. Now, all of that See, it's that last part, the part where God says, I show wrath to the third and fourth generation of those who hate and despise me, but I show kindness to the thousandth generation of those who love me and keep my commandments. Now, if you look at that word and you were to place it, you were to translate it as jealousy, then jealousy makes sense when you're talking about I, the Lord your God, am a jealous God, and I visit my anger upon the third and fourth generation because jealousy is always has this negative connotation to it. This idea that, okay, if you, if you make me afraid of losing this thing that I have, if you, if you deny me the devotion, if I lose your devotion, which I rightly deserve, then I'm going to get angry about it. But jealousy doesn't have a positive connotation on the flip side, whereas if you show me devotion, then I will respond positively. That's not a thing that we associate with jealousy. But it is a thing that we would associate with zeal, 
as in zealousness, or with passion, as in impassioned. So it, the word zealous or the word impassioned actually allows that same word to fulfill both the negative consequences for the third and fourth generation of those who hate God and the positive consequences to the thousandth generation of those who love and fear God. So I think that, you know, this is one of these cases where, you know, even though traditionally down through the ages we have interpreted a word in the Bible as one particular way, sometimes there's another word that's actually better. And I kind of applaud whoever it is that made this particular translation because, and I don't know who that is. I'd have to, I'd have to look up who that is who actually did the translation. Does it actually say in here who did that? I would be very curious to see. All scripture is taken from the new JPS translation, the Jewish Publication Society. Well, that's very interesting. Okay, so the Jewish Publication Society who did this in 1985, um, came up with a pretty good translation, I think, for that particular word. So, you know, if, if you're uh, interested in seeing a modern Jewish translation, I would go check that out. I actually have a Jewish translation myself in, uh, in an art scroll volume. Uh, it's the Stone Edition, I believe. And uh, that, one, that one translates it jealous also. And it doesn't really, you know, give any idea that you could really translate that word any other way. So, uh, so maybe the Jewish Publication Society version is a uh, is a better version. I don't know. Sometimes there's good versions and bad versions that you know you you'd have to blend them together in order to get the perfect mix. But uh, that's kind of a. It's, I just found that to be very interesting. That you know, all this time you have this word where you know God is a jealous God, and that word has just gone down through the ages, and then somebody. Somebody actually had the balls to say, you know, eh, you know, I, I like this word better. We're going to go with that. And it actually works. Impassioned actually works better than jealous in that particular verse. I think there are other verses where when just the negative connotation on the jealousy uh, is implied, uh, where it's only talking about the wrath that God will visit on those who reject him, jealous works just fine. That's all I had to say today. I, I, I like these little kind of, you know, translation tidbits that uh, occasionally cross my path. And uh, this was one that just really sparked my interest. So uh, that's going to be it for today. Uh, do pick up the book, uh, Dennis Prager, The Rational Bible, God Sla uh, Exodus, God, Slavery, and Freedom. Uh, there's an affiliate link in the uh, video description. So go ahead and click on that and then uh, go purchase to your heart's content. And we will uh, pick up on the Ten Commandments in the next uh, Don't Take This as Gospel video. Thanks for joining me. I'm Mike Partika, and I will talk to you later.